with her threat to, um, what's the word for it? It's not, um, uh, what's the word, what does she call me? It doesn't matter, go ahead, George. So I'm now talking to a friend called Croft in the Central Belt in Scotland who very much helped me avoid the sectioning threat that was imposed on me by local government in the borders. Yet every one of those politicians has been re-elected that ignored the section of me for my political activity. Thank you to Croft in Livingston for helping out with all of that. Uh, and he was the one that was courageous enough to make a video of the conversation with the doctor that tried to have me persecuted and drugged up. Okay, I'm talking to John Patterson uh, and I've got to release the fact that I've received another writ the very moment I was listening to the unpublished video on why Pope Benedict was forced to resign. Do you want to hear that story, guys? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So Pope Benedict was on a foundation for inter-religious and intercultural research and dialogue. Yeah, and he's on that foundation. Oh. Yeah, that's sorry the, about that background noise. I've got about a hundred birthdays today. I've just cancelled them. Sorry, George. Okay, I'll just let my camera see that I'm reading from a citation on my other computer. Sorry, yeah. that, that the sound quality will have gone there, but that is. George, if you just read your right about it, you can say yeah. Well. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that. So it's alumni here, and it's Neil Bush is George W. Bush's youngest son. George W. Bush has dropped out of Global News since the German Pope resigned. You know what his name was, John, before he became the Pope? Uh, we're talking about Ratzinger, aren't we? Yeah, that's Ratzinger of Hitler Youth. Yeah. Yeah, he was interned on the Isle of Man as a potential Nazi through the second half of World War II. Yeah, and all of it is a massive set of frauds. So, Neil Bush. Neil is a joke about the Nile and all of the legal stories. You remember the legal partnership in Boston and the Cheers Bar? Yeah, no. Neil is the same joke as Niall, the younger brother. And do you know what the names of those actors were? Never. Pierce. They are the immediate relatives of George W. And George W.'s joke in world history is that they are the... Yeah. They are the de Buisson family from Normandy, like Hillary Clinton, and that is the Buffalo Girls in my favourite movie. Remember the one that I cry about all of the time, John? Oh, wonderful guy. Yeah, so, yes. so that is when James Stewart dances with the beautiful woman, yeah, before they lose all of their hometown's prospects in the stealing and financial frauds. Uh, they fall into the swimming pool, the floor of which opens up, uh, and they're dancing to the Buffalo Girl. Won't you come out tonight? Come out tonight. That's a joke about the Bush lineage. <laughs> okay? Uh, and so, Neil Bush, one of his younger sons, is on the St Albans School uh, listings with... I thought it was Kermit Rockefeller, and I've published that wrongly. It's actually Kermit Roosevelt, Ro uh, Ro uh, Roosevelt. And the Roosevelts are a massive fraud through all of their time in power. Yet, the Teddy, the famous Teddy, was uh, the deputy president. He did not get elected into the presidency. They killed his predecessor. Did you know that? Well, uh, what I do know, George, is Neil Bush posed as a Rolling Stone magazine reporter and he went to Jamaica and interviewed uh, Bob Marley just after he'd been shot. He wasn't badly injured. And shortly afterwards, uh, uh, Bob Marley died of quick-acting quick cancer. Yeah. When, when Rolling Stone magazine got over, over the article, they said they had, they had no reporters in that area. It turned out to be Neil Bush. Yeah, it's a massive. That, that's it's a, up on YouTube. And you, you know, you know that George Herbert Poppy Bush, that that made Jim Fetzer gag, because he did not know that Poppy was his middle name. That is that is a joke about the Roman court and the Bible fraud, like the name Neil. Yeah, that's the name of the Nile. That's rivers of blood, 
and all of it is the joke about the Pizzo family ruling the world okay uh, and when you look at so the members of St Albans school include Kermit that's the Muppet show Kermit Roosevelt you know now that the Roosevelt's were on the Mayflower do you know the Pearl Harbor joke no <laughs> so so the Roosevelt's are closely tied to a secret society called the Underhill Society yeah okay. and the Underhill that was Captain Underhill he was the militia man that trailed, trained the Pilgrim Fathers to kill yet they live in a place called yet you know all of the John knows all of the jokes about Brooklyn and all of the Innsbruck jokes you know that Pope Benedict that's the man that worked on the writing of the Talmud and the rewriting of the Bible with George W. Bush's son, yeah, in the Vatican before he had to resign when I revealed it. Yeah, on my uh, tiny little web page. Can I now read the writ that I've received? In Her Majesty's name and authority. Excellent, excellent stuff, George. Go to on. Mr. George Lee's 40 Pinnacle Hill Park. Yet the pinnacle is, in the Mafia jokes, is the pinnacle card game. And all of it was owned by the Babin House family and the Elliots of Springwood, which interlocks with FDR of Springwood in America. That's why all of the mansion houses in Scotland that are linked to the Elliots and the Governor Generals that are launched by the super elite families in the borders yeah that's the Elliots it is the Turnbulls uh, and the Turnbulls are also in the Mafia movie you remember the senator for Nevada who confronted Michael and told him he was going to bust up their operation and take their profits yeah and that senator in Nevada I believe was the same guy in Casino the movie Casino that was uh, defending um, Robert De Niro so what, what the Godfather family did to him was that they allowed him into their prostitution dens, they got him blind drunk and he murdered the prostitute and cut out her fanny like Jack the Ripper. It's the same piezo jokes again and again and again. Can you hear the intel noise? <laughs> It's that, so do you get, I don't, know, I don't know if Croft's aware of the pie pie piezo vagina jokes, no. but all of it is that when you translate piezo from Italian into English, you get vagina. Yeah, and that is all of the sick, sick jokes of the Johnny Depp, who's in the bloodlines too. Yeah, and what I revealed yesterday is that the four presidents who are on Mount Rushmore all of them are related to the Pizzo family and Queen Elizabeth II who's the woman who's trying to have me uh, banged up and to take my home from me in the Pie Pie Pinnacle Hill Park estate that I live on. Do you know who the owner of my region was in the old days of the 30 years Christian war? Sure. Robert Maxwell, the Christian fraudster and the warlord who's covered by Robert Maxwell in Oxford and that's Oxford University Press that translated the Bible. You remember all those discussions we had John? Oh yeah there was many many George. And Robert Maxwell the modern day man is alleged to be in a spy in Czechoslovakia yeah yeah and he was chucked off the back of the boat and all of that is the government crimes that continue into the Brexit scandal so let that's me read let me read the writ <laughs> yeah do you get the pinochle joke yeah, that's the card game that they are playing when they go out and they kill the leader of the police rackets and that is the launch of Michael into Godfather 2. <laughs> it's just absolutely lethal and that is the Pi Pi pinnacle. Yeah, that is the pyramid for the pharaohs and the pharaoh joke is the bloodline that all of the presidents on Mount Rushmore are in because that is the arsenals of Egypt that take you to uh, Mark Antony and Caesar they were in love with the seventh pharaoh and that is Cleopatra that is the child of the arsenals that are the Egyptian pharaohs 
and all of it rolls on every one of those presidents including Teddy Bear in the Woods Rothschild yeah <laughs> Rothschild Roosevelt yeah he's in do you remember who played him in the museum film yeah who was it Guy Wright Robin Williams Yet yeah, committed suicide this year he's he's married into the piezo fraud he's had three wives yet the last one he could not sleep with because everything that he makes a laugh about in the movies about health care and him inventing drugs to save the people who have dopamine deficiencies every one of those diseases that he saved them in Hollywood from he was afflicted with in later in life yeah. <laughs> and and the second wife is from the Philippines and John knows all about the stories of the Philippines and that the peso currency the peso is still used there and that is the massive fascist dynasties who is the woman John that in the world news used to have the most massive number of shoes in her wardrobe Oh, that was uh, Marcos. Yeah, that's it. So, uh, oh, I've just my yeah. camera's buggered up. I can't recall this. Uh, it's not. Well, is that enough? Have you got uh, any of that? I've got some of it, but then my camera's just buggered up. Well, that's enough for to keep me safe. Yeah. Okay. The the next hearing is on the uh, this. Uh, so the writ was received today, the sixth day of July, two thousand and sixteen. <coughs> I refused to receive it, they threw it on my doorstep and they buggered off because they're aware of the pathology theory now that that woman Ahern, she's involved with Robin Williams and all the religious frauds. Do you know the joke about Robin Williams that has tipped them over the edge this time John? What was the movie that Peter Sellers made about Queen Victoria's only legitimate child? Being there. Yeah, the director of that yeah, I forget his name, it's in the video I was about uh, uploading when I got the writ delivered. The director of that committed suicide, yeah, because that is the suppression of all of the parentage of all of the European monarchs since the Rothschilds shagged Queen Victoria relentlessly using the date rape drug, the date rape drug Rohypnol. And in the local judiciary crimes, that is the Sheriff, uh, Sheriff Lothian, he is a date rape plant for false news. Yeah, and they've used that all through my trial and the persecution. Look up Sheriff Lothian and the date rape trials. Yeah, he got persecuted for that. He got half of his wife's home for gangbang raping her under Rohypnol. All of that is just a, a, a tool to cover the horrible truth that Peter Sellers' dad was uh, was Lord Mountbatten, yeah, revealed to me by Greg Hallett and I've got all the carefully taken notes and all of his videos online and that's the pictures that got me the second writ today. Do you want to hear what it says? It's totally irrelevant. They're not accusing me anything. All they're doing is trying to get me divorced and to get me impoverished. Yeah, this is good, George. I've just fixed my camera again. So now I'm recording again. So go ahead. Okay. Uh, so so, uh, so in Her Majesty's name and authority, the certified copy interlocutor, interlocutor dated 29th June 2016, of which the foregoing is a full copy. So that is when I need to appear in Jedburgh Sheriff Court. Next, Croft, can you mobilise some witnesses? Croft. Yeah, I'll try and get some together, John. Sorry, I don't know if I'll show up. The last time they summoned me. I made a video on the massive thunderstorms and lightning storms that afflict Jedburgh every time we go there and that occurred the day before the hearing Yeah. Uh, and I just decided I'm not going to play ball with them anymore, I did not attend, that's why next time it will be into the G4S van and banged up in the place yet yeah, right next to Hearts Football Club for odd, which is the uh, which is the Rothschild fraud, the Romanov owner of Hearts Football Club is Romanoff Rothschild. You know all of that, John? You've made videos with me on those themes. Yeah, but I'll tell you another thing, George, for your protection, I don't have any control control now over people I know in the underworld. 
uh, all these people that are responsible have now got targets on their heads yeah well I'm not so sure so when you realize that the underworld is George W Bush no I'm, no I'm not talking about that kind of underworld I'm talking about um, uh, London underworld gangsters yeah that understand what's going on and do you understand they've got families and do, children do you understand that George W and his father Herbert Poppy yet yeah, were the heads of the CIA in their regimes before they became the president of their country of course yeah and they are the people that staged the uh, alleged killing of Nixon all of it is actors playing the roles yeah and when you get someone like Teddy Roosevelt the greatest president of all their family came on the Mayflower they were called the Dillonoys and in World War II that is fucking Delaney's donkey being led to their deaths after Pearl Harbor yep. yeah and the Pearl Harbor joke is a joke about Oyster Bay which is the haven for the secret society that is the Underhill Society. All of it is in the Hobbit films and the holes in the Maginot line at Brie are in the same jokes. Yeah, and that is why the woman Ahern died this week. Did you know that her name was Mrs. Merton? No, not offhand. So Mrs. Merton is the Duchess of Sutherland's massive mansions yeah, and the Duchess of Sutherland is on the Jewish Policy Studies units, and yeah. she interlocks with all of the fraudsters that wrote the Christian Bible. That is the Monte Fiori's, that is the mountain of fire in Naples that John knows all about, because this is just cover for the 2,000 year old religious fraud. And that's why Robin Williams died. His son, the son of a Pi Pi Pilipino, his nickname is Pi. <laughs> Yeah, and all of that is the American Pie joke, and all of it is... Are you music fans? Yeah, yeah. yeah Have yeah. you seen the Britney Spears Amy video? Yeah. Watch that, and then watch Shakira. Shakira is the daughter of the tank commanders in Egypt that uh -huh. were the... Yeah, she's a Mubarak. You yes. do not get more fascist. So watch Shakira's Pie's video and you'll see that all of that is about the false heaven and all of the religious worshippers going up in their air balloon yeah and that's why uh, the person that was my favorite singer who sang with sting about fields of gold and stuff yet yeah, she sings about the sun going up in Santa Monica Boulevard and all of the Christians going to heaven yeah and floating up off the street beside her if you watch the Pies movie for Shakira, you will see that all of them fail to get home like Jesus. And if you watch the, uh, <laughs> yeah, the, even in the religious fraud, they have a woman called, uh, she sings about the wet patch in the bed. What's her name, John? Oh, and uh, fuck you. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's from Essex where in the story that I'm publishing today, the Essex man... Katie... Katie Price? No, she sings... she is Lily Allen. Oh, yeah, yeah. And the Allen joke is the joke about Allah and the Islamic menace. Yes, so can you see why they've got the Pope, why they've got the Bush family, and all of the lineage that takes you back to the Pisos, and to, in the Roman court, when the Bible was being wrought, uh, being written, yet yeah, it is the uh, massive presence of King Herod. He's in the Roman court, he's in the team, and he is the great grandfather of uh, Arius Copernius Piso, who in turn is the great grandfather of Marcus Aurelius in the Gladiator movie. And all of it, he's the one that launches the print run for the Bible. Yeah, and do you get the joke? When they are about to execute the gladiator, they say to him, kneel several times. And that is the same joke about Neil Bush. Yeah, and it is the joke about kneeling on your knees to Amohemna, the Egyptian. Yeah, all of the things that they worship take you back to King Solomon and the pagan celebrations. 
and all of the black and white checkerboard floors in all of the royal palaces and in their places where they marry under the Christian oath it's actually a pagan celebration it's a massive set of lies and yeah. the whole of the world's people are taken in by them uh, if I could get you let me let me put the microphone down and see if I can get a list of names do you know so the people that went to St Albans in Britain tell me who the British person was who went to St Albans Earth. it was you John that told me this yeah, um, I can't think of it off Andrew. Baroness Amos, the head. Oh, Amos, of yeah, course. Yeah, yes, she, yes, yes. She's the Foreign Secretary equivalent before Theresa May comes in, and she's the one that gets sent to find the weapons, yeah, <laughs> along with Angela Kane, and all of that is the, you know, the attempts to start another world war, yeah, immediately after we had brutalised Afghanistan and even Kurdistan and all of the oil wealth is in Tony Blair's pockets and that's why Tony Blair is the head of the European Union cabal with Lord Kerr of Kinlocka which is the horrible truths that John and I talked about in that last video which is why Greg Hallett is now trying to demonize me for my potency again yeah so if I can get some of you truth seekers in the court prepared to make a huge fuss about my jailing like John's jailing this is the persecution of every religious worshipper yeah God has been totally taken out of the story and that joke is when you turn God around as if you were speaking God in Hebrew you're the dog on the lead and that song has been sung yeah by people yeah of the magnitude of the, who are the fame Art Garfunkel and his mate yeah that is the song about uh, Rene Magritte walking their dog after the war so God is written out of the religious story completely now which is why they get biblical floods every time they take me to the court <laughs> and which is why it's taken them so long to get their act together until I make a bigger revelation that the American presidents are talking to the person who is the Pope who's allowed to escape do you both understand the life of Brian joke? Yeah, 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 yeah. So that is Cardinal O'Brien, and that is the Pythons walking into the stable in Innsbruck. Yeah, That's, yeah. There is no room at the inn for Jesus. It's the birthplace of Hitler Rothschild. It's the birthplace of the now safely interned in Rome in the Alba Hotel. Yeah, that's Alba for Scotland for a fucking laugh. Everything they do. That's three years old, that news that I released this morning again. Yeah, and that is the Pope and the Bush family. Do you remember what the movement was that was launched by jo George W? The Lubavitch. Yeah, good lad, John, you've got it. That is the massive presence that consumes the Canadian Prime Minister Yeah, and all of the aeroplane scandals that they then can be coerced into. Yeah, that was the Canadian Prime Minister before he was elected out and he's been replaced by, it's either a Chrétien or a Trudeau because they are in the bloodlines that own the world since the Pisos wrote the Bible. <laughs> Sorry Croft, you're going to miss your appointment? Is he still there? Yeah, he's probably muted his uh, mic. Alright. Uh, so shall we stop there or are you still in recording mood I'd love to give uh, you listen I'm recording but the beauty of this is because it cut, the, cut out twice I'll put those into two short videos a couple of minutes each then I'll attach this one uh, in the box so if God if God's going to afflict yeah, the, <laughs> the healthcare issues on my persecutors again I want you to know the, the man who chucked this letter down on my door, the witness for that, is not in the judiciary. They're too safe now. They will not confront it. They will not tell me which sheriff's in charge of the hearing, because I've got all the director numbers and the crimes of Sheriff Peter Patterson, who works for Todd Morton and all the massive legal firms, yet they employ our local MPs. Yet John, John, John Lamont MSP is a member of the Magic Circle law firms, and that is hit bank in World War II. And yeah. that, can I just remind uh, the, the listeners, George, before I nip out to the bathroom, that that's Patterson <laughs> with one T. 
that was the sheriff I have no idea who the next sheriff is or whether Sheriff Patterson is alive the one that was Harley that covers all of Greg Hallett's revelations has come to me looking deathly white and he shook my hand in the town square all of them are in a massive state of panic because this is the New World Order's only real threat in the whole of world history and thank you to Croft if you're still listening yeah, I'm here. yeah. do you get the magnitude of it? Do you, when you're pictured with the St Andrew's Cross you understand that you're having a joke at Scotland's sovereignty and that is a religious joke too do you understand that? Yeah. St Andrew's Cross is the icon for the Clooney, George Clooney jokes yeah, the Clooney Abbey was the biggest church in Europe before, in the world before the Vatican was built and that is the launch of the Pie Pie Ian Paisley joke because the first cathedral in Scotland is Pie Pie Paisley yeah, and they're going to convict me and they're going to bang me up and the gods will go ballistic that weekend and they will use that as an excuse to keep me in the jail until I get the neck brace that is the rope that kills all of the innocents yet on the quiet, on the pretense that I am depressed I'm absolutely on the top of my game and they are going to pay for everything they've done to the world and all of the children of the world that are in those universities that I used to work in that are the warmongering institutions that's Christ College Cambridge the total lie that Jesus ever existed yeah so I'm delighted that the pair of you have listened to it. Let me put my camera down and you can have a chat about what is hot news for you at the moment. Yeah, if I can just start. Don't you want to go to the toilet or what? I just need to try and find a, a list of the people that went to that St Albans school. It's totally damning. Well, George, can I just tell you what's been happening up here? Please. Um, it seems that there are paperwork, there's paperwork laws in the court of session. Uh, the old final judges are all broke the rules. Uh, they're suing a false monarch. Uh, basically, they have no jurisdiction at this point. They'll still continue to operate, as we know, because they can't, they can't be, be seen to be showing their scams. But at this point, they've been put on notice that, that all of them are committing fraud on the people. Uh, they broke God's law. The Queen's broke God's law. You know, because they're sitting under God's law at this point. She's sworn in the Bible. So at this point we're just waiting to see what happens with the court case, the determination of the court case that just happened and we'll wait and see what moves they feel. Okay, Croft, listen, um, we've just got, you know, uh, I mean this is exactly mine, that sounds crazy, um, I'm actually, um, I agreed to assist the Royal Commission. We yeah. have just got um, a senior master to step down. Uh, now the whole uh, court system in the UK, as you know, for the last 35 years has been selling fraud to organised crime. Yeah. My lawyer won a Geneva Gold Award in 1999 for an electronics uh, signature software which Barclays Bank stole. Mm -hmm. This is how big it is. We've yeah. got back in of the Lord Bishops and Lord Archbishops They've adjourned my appeal three times. Yeah. They've now put it back to the 2nd of December. Now, my lawyer was here last week. He's a very busy man. He's doing other... There's other people in this case. It's not just me. Yeah. And... Um, I'm ready, guys, whenever you finish. Okay, let me just wrap this up. He, he agreed with me that they will never, ever let me go into court. So, um, we're, we're looking at bringing this whole corrupt judicial system down you need to, uh, what you probably need to do is you know, get on a jury. Well, I, you know, I don't know what the next stage is, but my lawyer is, uh, well, he was debarred along with all the other law, uh, uh, lawyers yeah. who were going against his system. They fitted him up on false charges like they do. Yeah. But um, the last time I was in court, which was the 2nd of June, he, he basically read out the riot act to the judge. Uh, uh, she was a senior judge for East Sussex, Judge Barnes. Uh, she got up and walked out, and then he turned on the um, on the other uh, lawyer that was there, and he said, "Listen, this fraud's been going on before you were born, and my advice to you is to back away now, otherwise you're going to be taken down with them." 
Yeah, I mean, the whole, the whole court system are fraud. I mean, the fact yeah, yeah. that no one's ever had a proper jury trial, the jury and the judge, they're the ones that are supposed to control the whole court. Yeah, yeah. The judge or the sheriff sitting there should only be able to interpret the law and carry out the execution of the sentence. That's all his job is supposed to mandate. Yeah. But if they took it to trial by states and to trial by juries, which is an hell of a law for this country. Well, my, my case is basically, it's John Patterson versus Sussex Police. Yeah. John Patterson versus the state. Uh, John Patterson versus the Attorney General and others. Now, the last letter I got, they said, if my appeal fails, which we know it won't, I will have to pay costs. Uh, if I win my appeal, I will be awarded substantial damages. So I, I can put those funds to a lot of good use, trust me. Yeah, I mean, the, the whole judiciary is, is corrupt. I mean, the fact that they took away the right to a trial by jury is the problem because every time you get a jury in a court, the jury only hear one side of a case, which is a mistrial. Every case has ever been without a properly constituted jury. Yeah. The judge or the sheriff has led the jury, and every case has been a mistrial because they only get to hear half the case. Crop, crop. I got a minute, John. The fact that we've got a democracy stuff, a, a, a quasi democracy, is supposed to be so that we can judge the law itself. We can put the law on trial, and we can get jury nullification to get the bad stuff that Parliament presents, or that they create. But the fact that the jury nullification system has been taken away shows this isn't a democracy, it's a tyranny. Because because you're going in front of the state and he's the inquisitor, he's the one that's putting you on trial. No, no the people. And the people should have the right to challenge the law. The law might be wrong. Well that, that, that's what we're doing. What we've done uh, Rob, we've actually, well we've exposed the truth of frauds legally. Yeah. And we've now provided the remedies. And um, when Tony Blair was offered immunity because of documents my lawyer had, he, he took immunity in return for remedying the frauds. Those remedies were handed to David Cameron, and when I realised this, I told the world that David Cameron was going to step down after we uh, won our independent uh, sovereignty back. Yeah. Lo and behold, that's what happened. It, so it looks like we are actually clearing out all these traces as we speak. Yeah, well, the thing is, so Croft, to, go, to, Croft. Go to these courts though, George, to go to these courts is to continue the fraud though, because the whole court system is fraudulent. Because so in, in, in a court. civil case, can I be jailed for contempt of court? You can only get jailed for contempt of court in a common law court of record, George. These Excellent. Courts are not courts, they're tribunal. So I can afford I can afford to skip that if the gods get on my side and it lead it. Be willful and deliberate, George, and it has and it, a, a contempt to court is solely a creature of the common law, George. You can I can I get the rest of my news in before my batteries? So this is the Pope. Yeah, this is George W. Bush's children, and it is the chief fucking rabbi rewriting the Christian Bible. Yet they're rewriting as friends of each other all of the moral rules that are ignored by the Geneva Conventions and the foundation for interreligious and intercultural research and dialogue was founded in 1999 yeah this is why the Pope had to resign sponsored by the Levant Foundation with the University of Geneva in Switzerland to pursue its scholarly and humanistic goals yet this is World War III those are the goals of the three monotheistic religions, that is Christianity, Islam and Judaism, the biggest cause of death in world history. Yeah, and that all of the news about terror all across the world is written by the same people. That's the owners of the news media. Yeah, and even the massive Austrian presence that is Conrad Black, the magnet in Canada, he relates closely to the Austrian bloodlines that are the Rothschilds and the owners of the world. Yet since Empress Theresa Maria was prepared to get on the Piso horse. So the board of trustees for that religious organization, wait for it, is Prince El Hassan bin Talal of the Hashemite kingdom of Jordan. Yet crossing the Jordan in the Bible where Jesus never fucking lived. Archbishop Michael Fis Fitzgerald a apostolic nuncio. Do you know what the nuncio joke is, John Patterson? Never really thought of it. It's the baby Jesus, El Nino. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sorry, my, uh, <laughs> my uh, mic was muted. Yeah, we took, we're going into the uh, the peso and the peso. Yeah, and he's Michael Fitzgerald is the apostolic nuncio at that time in Egypt, where the Arsenal bloodline was married to yeah <laughs> Elizabeth Taylor's role in all of that. That is the Arsenal Arsenal. He's got a pineapple on his head. Jokes and all the pizzas that have the pineapples in them just to let them know it is us and the stammering murderous king that is the w w Windsor joke yet yeah, in that massive film the other members of the board are Chief Rabbi René Samuel Sirat former Chief Rabbi of France yet yeah, strictly neutral and where all of the silk stockings and the dances take place on the road to ruin yeah, all of the places that are in the World War II thing, including Dunkirk, are jokes. The Dunkirk joke is about someone who proclaimed that he was the Messiah. He proclaimed that he was a Rothschild. Yeah, and he was. Did you know that there's a Dunkirk in Kent, John? Did you know that there's a Dunkirk in Kent, Croft? Croft? Sure. Yeah, it's a massive fucking joke. That is when Hitler Rothschild went directly to the Channel Coast, through the hole in the Maginot Line in Belgium, and right across Free France. Yet none of it is opposed, because he's in the same team as FDR and Stalin Rothschild. Yeah, on the big three, that is the three ships that go sailing by, they are the three wise men in the Bible story. It's absolutely sickening. The next one is Maitre Michel Halperin, lawyer, member of the Grand Consul, Consul de la République et Canton de Geneva. Yeah, that's the Geneva Conventions that allow you to kill anybody now without declaration of war. And that is the killing of Bin Laden that becomes the bin lorry driver in Glasgow in the press covers. Next one is really big. This is the launch of Papandreou and the acid stripping of Greece in the official story. But his name is Professor Damaskinos, with almost with the word piso in the end of it, Papandreou former Metropolitan. Do you remember George Papandreou and the massive scams of the defrauding of the European Central Bank? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that is what launched the massive crash of the European economy and he fucks off to America where his relatives go to all of the time when there are Greek revolutions. Yet they are the fascist owners of Greece and Prince Philip was not that at all. He came to this country with ten pounds in his pocket and yeah. he runs the whole of the scam. Every time I mention Greg Hallett's philosophical observations, those are really studious observations. All of them are backed up on my computers and if I get disappeared or killed in a prison, I want you both to declare that to the world. Yeah. Well, okay. I'll, I'll go one better than that, George. Um, so, but, but listen, it's not, it's not going to happen, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, I'm not worried at all. The gods are greater than any human that ever roamed this earth. And that's why all of those religious figureheads that those three warmongering religions represent, all of it is written out in the Christian Bible. And that's why the Pythons say that it's in the... Uh, you must never worship a false icon on this earth. Yeah, but that's what we're doing. And that, that is, every one of those three warmongering religions is for a messianic figure. And that is the joke about Dunkirk. That man was killed by the British police in Dunkirk. Look those terms up on your Wikipedia profiles and yeah. you'll see that the Battle of Dunkirk and all of the killings that occurred there are just a cull like every other warmongering thing. The ordinary people get it in the neck and that is Tom uh, Hanks Rockefeller's joke in the Saving Private Ryan. The Ryans are relatives of the Nixons and all of them are out in Normandy like Hillary Clinton and all of them are in the same bloodlines, every one. Do you remember the Saunders man that flew the plane in the story that Greg Hallett told the world about Hitler escaping from the bunker? Yes, it was the Junkers, wasn't it? Yes, so that's now Bernie Saunders and the two bimbos that are in those comedies in Britain. Her name is Saunders. What? I can't remember what the comedy's called. It's hopelessly inept. 
and the other one is a friend of the Burmese uh, villains. You, you know, what's the name of the female blonde comedian Saunders? Oh, uh, yeah. They're all over the front page of the papers yeah, yeah. every day now because of my revelations on Greg Hallett's story about the fleeing from the, butler, the, the bunker and the killing and murdering of all of those healthcare victims in the River Spree tunnels. Yeah, it's all a massive cabal of false news, which is why they ran from a doorstep this morning. They've replaced the postman because of the conspiracy theory with young teenage postmen. Yeah, and all the movies they make, yeah, about all of these people that die young. Yeah, so the man that committed suicide because he wrote the Being There film, yeah. Uh, all of them are now played by cartoon characters and that's why Hugh the Fowler is in the chicken run comedies. Yeah. It's uh, everything they do, yeah, and every one of those cartoon films that Hollywood releases. Did you know that, uh, that Walt Disney is the biggest Zionist uh, financial institution on the globe? Yeah, he was a Freemason too. Yeah, and uh, in the video that I was making and uploading this morning, have you heard of uh, the woman uh, Hill and Tim McGraw, two beautiful singers in America. Hill McGraw is a massive financial institution. Those pair have had to divorce and what, what the woman Hill, she sings about Pearl Harbor. Yeah, do you get the magnitude of that? That oh, is it's, it's a FDR's crime and the song is called uh, You'll Be There. All of the American war dead are given that song to let them know that Pearl Harbor is a joke about the Oyster Bay massive treason and the Oyster Bay SS is the Underhill Society and all of that takes you into Tom of Warwick's story. Do you remember that John? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Tom of Warwick is the one that tried to talk up the failed King Arthur that his campaign had been worthwhile and who wrote the King Arthur story John? Uh, go on. The popes in Rome yeah. that are on this committee. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you've got Jamal Daniel, also third co-founder, current vice president and trustee, and they get huge expenses for attending. Uh, and you've got a list. I have not got the Alban School list. Uh, I don't think. But I'll have a wee look. So Pope Benedict, Joseph Ratzinger, the future Pope Benedict, was on that foundation. Uh, Bush signed a consulting contract that paid two million in stock, that's shares in religion, over five years to work for the semiconductor manufacturing and a firm backed by Jiang Mianhem, son of former Gi Chinese pres president Jiang Zemin. So all of these are on the religious fraud, raising shareholdings and stock, like the lawyer that is my wife's lawyer. And she is part of that massive Tom joke. So she's Mrs. Tom. She's now got 800,000 in the bank. When she started my case, she had 50,000 in the bank. And the Toms that are involved in that massive Dunkirk story, if you look it up on the internet today, this morning, and back it up, you'll be able to learn it. That is the Dunkirk massacre. Yeah, when Hitler Rothschild, guess who was defending Britain then? Uh, go on. Dad's army in oh, East, yeah. in yeah. East fucking Sussex. Uh, and yeah. what have they got before they remake the whole of the Dad's army movies? What have they got on their shoulder? Uh, go on. The initials CP. What does that stand for? CP. Yeah. Calpurnia's Pizza. Good yeah. lad, John. You are an excellent scholar. No, yeah. I've got all this from you, George. And, but you retain it and you're able to spout it out. Well, which it's important, George. People have to know this stuff. It's the biggest cause of death in world history. Yeah. Yeah. So, President Jiang Zemin from China, yeah, this is where they have the communist menace, he gets 10,000 for every board meeting he attends in the religious 
sector. Yeah? Bush serves as co-chairman of a company called Crest Investment. Crest pays him 60000 a year to provide miscellaneous consulting services. Yeah. Bush frequently travels to the Middle East, Europe and Asia to negotiate deals and raise capital for various businesses. And can you tell them, what? When in that Lubavitcher joke, all of the cheap, beyond my favourite woman in America, who's Dana Perino. She's got the loveliest ankles in the world. Yeah? And she lives in the same town before she became the presidential secretary. Yeah? She lives in the same town as Homer Simpson. I forget what the name of Homer Simpson's town is. Can you remember that, John? Springfield. Good lad. So Dana Perino was Bush's official private secretary. She's nearly got the word Piso in her name, <laughs> yeah, and she is the person uh, that is told me that Brett Baer on Fox News is a direct relative of the Rothschilds. That's the Baer Rothschilds, that is the Teddy Roosevelt, the Baer in the Woods joke. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and all of them are jokes. So when they murdered the predecessor of him, his name was McKinley. Yeah, guess what Teddy Roosevelt was doing? Was doing? Yeah, when the news came through that he was going to be the unelected president and the greatest president in the museum film that ever lived. Well, I know Garfield, McKinley, that is, few of them that, that were, were assassinated. Yeah, so he was shooting bears in the woods in America. Yeah, yeah. That's the joke about the Rothschilds being the Hudson's Bay Company and all of the yeah, Bay Bay Bears joke. That is all of the massive frauds that Gordon Bowden would only give us snippets of. Yeah, so they own Rio Tinto in Australia. Yeah. All of it is published in a book by a man called uh, Morton. Yeah, and they own the whole of Royal Dutch Shell. They own the whole of the British stock market. That's a video that I've posted uh, on the Rothschild crimes in a company called RIT. Yeah? And that is Jacob Rothschild. They've bailed out of every company that they used to own. Yeah? And that is how the Rothschilds actually work. Yeah? Rio Tinto is run by an Orcafat woman uh, called... Uh, oh, I keep forgetting her name, but she's have married to Lan Hancocks and my wife, the disloyal Vash in this story, yet yeah, who works in Intel ever since I met her. Yeah, she worked first for Marks and Spencers. Uh, and you know all of the stories, John, about the Intel organizations. That's the Baker Street Irregulars. She worked for Marks and Spencers in Baker Street. That is Norman Baker and all of the frauds and that is the Baker grinding the bones to flower jokes in the that's Christian. My, that's my local MP. Norman yeah, Baker. I know it is, John. And <laughs> he, he runs the massive Ang Anglo-French Chamber of Commerce. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that is the bakers that are the foreign secretaries in America. Yeah, and, and in the Being There movie, the president is featured and he does not understand the behaviours. And that is the joke about Bill Clinton being sired. Who sired Bill Clinton? Uh, Sir Winston Churchill. Good lad, John. You're perfect. Yeah. <laughs> and, it, and if you could, co if you could come up to Jedburgh Sheriff Corps and show them the magnitude of understanding around the crimes against the people that has led to the Brexit scandal only this month, yeah, the whole lot of them will be on their knees. Yeah. Well, let's bring them to their knees, George. Shall we stop there and make it snappy? So yeah, I'm going to re-edit this, post it on Facebook, and I've got... And can you, put, put, can you put Pope Benedict as a thumbnail on that? Yeah, definitely. I've got him ready. No problem. Good lad. And can you point out that he's from Innsbruck, like yep. Hannah Mary Rothschild's husband, yet yeah, Lord Brookdale, and the Pearl Harbour joke it, uh, is the joke about the oyster catchers. They are in Brooklyn. Yeah, that is no room at the inn for Jesus, and yeah. it cannot get fucking sicker. That woman, Ahern, if you look at her video output, she died this week at age 52. Oh, She's yeah. a massive religious fraudster, and she takes the piss about, you know, what is the, what is the penis in biblical history, John? Oh, the fish. Yeah. 
Yeah. Take a look at O'Hearn's jokes. You'll have to do it really quickly. She's linked to the man that is Robin Williams and the whole of his life is a fraud and his second wife, yeah, he committed suicide because everything that he laughed at in the films he made about healthcare and curing disease, he was afflicted with at the end of his life, which is why he hung himself on the end of his belt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's massive, yeah? And his nickname for his son, yeah, is Pi. Uh, yeah, and that's the life of Pi, that is Pi the racehorse for Elizabeth Taylor, that is the wife and Cleopatra in the Arsenal bloodlines. Yeah, and that is the Pi, Pi, pineapple on his head for the whole yeah. of the Arsenal supporter base. This is not as big a secret as they would have you believe. But the tell, tell the listeners uh, what happened to the Villa Papyrus. Yeah, when the Pisos wrote the Bible there, uh, in... Uh, what, I forget the year. 75? 70, 70, 70, 79 AD. Yeah, yeah. Yet the Villa Papyri erupted on their home. The, the Vesuvius erupted on their home, which is called the Villa Papyri, right underneath. Which is why they're still busily changing the Bible text. Because all of the frauds that the Pisos wrote into it become a risk to them. My website is called Revelations, and they murdered the man that wrote Revelations in the Bible because he was letting their biggest secrets out. I'll yeah. put the link to your website in this video, George. Excellent. Thank you for listening, Croft. And can you show on the 27th of July? Aye. Yeah. Or even just threaten to do it. If you threaten to do it and I fail to attend and you tell me that I will be safe, yeah, and can you monitor me by making regular Skype calls beyond that because the Piso Polis are the people that will arrest me? Well, we need to start getting a message about jury nullification and the fact you can get common law grand jury and common law courts of record. Yeah. These courts are no courts and this is how we can't get any remedy. There is no remedy right. at all. Do you remember when we went from the sectioning threat in Gala Shields? Yeah. <laughs> the woman that was my witness, she owns <laughs> a piezo dog from Naples yeah she she is an administrator for the Catholic Church she was at the dinner sitting next sitting next to the priest when I sat next to the German people that are representatives from the other churches and the Church of Scotland and the vicar at the Church of Scotland is called Anna and that is the Anai Anici diaspora out of Naples and Rome and into Frankish France Yet that is the diaspora that leads to the launch of the Clooney Abbey and George Clooney's biblical flood jokes on the telly. But when those floods occur in the law courts, every time I'm summoned there, or even the day before to make it safe, yet they are now totally in fear of what happens. But I've just discovered that Sheriff Peter Patterson, yet if you look him up on the business register, he works for Todd Morton and various other law firms. They have massive 28 million debt pools when I last looked. He's the one that bangs up the innocent children of this country and works in the Freemasonic Lodge. Yet to get every one of us freedom fighters banged up and jailed for our absolutely determined efforts to reveal the truth about why the whole world is busted for cash and why every British and English student has to pay £70,000 for the honours degree that David Cameron got for nothing. Exactly. Yeah. And that is what I'm accused of. I'm accused of financial neglect of my wife from Intel, Marks and Spencers, Chipping Norton and Baker Street. Yet the Baker Street Irregulars have been completely taken off the map since I revealed that Jocelyn Hambro and the people that were in Norway in World War II, and you know what happened in Norway in World War II? Yet they just gave up the ghost, they yep. let the Nazis that they are sweep in, and the name of the Prime Minister was... Uh, uh. Uh, it's on the tip of my tongue, don't tell me, it's Quisling. Good lad, John, you're perfect. I'm yeah. not perfect. And you know the term Quisling, <laughs> you know the term Quisling now, and all of its meaning, that's why Alex Salmond is now back in Westminster. Yeah. And the person that told me about Salmond's power base is a Facebook friend of mine still. 
yeah, like Jim Fetzer and all of the covers, yeah, for the, they're still trying to solve the Kennedy crime. They never mentioned Permindex and Winston Churchill. Ah, Permindex. Yeah, yeah yes. and Beaverbrook. All of that was solved decades back, but it is the elites that run the world. And when yeah. I revealed yesterday, yeah, that the four people that are on uh, the Mount Rushmore, do you get the rush joke? That's uh, that's Moses in the rushes. Yes. In the reeds, yes. and that is why Barbarossa in all those movies, and the speech therapists in the Stammering King's joke, is the actor that plays Barbarossa all over the world. Have you noticed that? Yes. Yeah, yes. yeah and that's why he asks for them to stammer on the W just to let them know that it is the w w Windsors of the Jack the Ripper murders and that is Queen Elizabeth II, the Popo of Grapfield lineage, linked to yeah, the massive people, and they've got the royals, they've got an almanac that declares all of those people that are plotting with the Jews and the Christians with Pope Benedict in this official committee to take the world to war again and again and again that all of the people are that are the kings of the Yemen do you know where the Yemen is? Yeah, go on. That's Noam Chomsky, my false socialist mate revealed yeah. all of the stuff about the Yemen that is the yeah yeah Yemen for the Beatles and it is the Garden of Aden Yes. Yeah, it is the Garden of Eden and all of the place names are the Pisopolis's Tasers. Yeah, that's Taze Russell, the founder of the Jehovah's Witnesses, who has the same eagle icon as the Austrian uh, Empresses. Yeah, that is the Rothschilds, that is the Bourbons, that is the uh, Habsburgs, and that is the three ships that go sailing into Magellan's Beach. Yeah, on Christmas Day in the morning, and you know all of those stories. And yeah. the massive storms flatten the Philippines. Yeah, but they leave the beach where Lapu Lapu killed Magellan. Yeah, totally unscathed by the storms. That's what happens in Jedbra every time they call me to the court. Yeah, yeah, and they're stupid enough to keep doing it as all of their friends and even the senior postmen get replaced by children so that they cannot run the risk of being taken down by God who's been taken out of the whole of the religious story and is now the dog on the end of the Christian lead. Yeah, that's, that's Michael Douglas. Yeah, and all of the jokes. Remember the jokes about the movies he made with the dumb blonde yes. is, that is in the Air Force One movie? Yeah. yeah. And what's in the kitchen sink? When he, sink. when he shags her on the kitchen sink, what have they put in the kitchen sink as a joke at this massive warmongering cabal through all of world history? It's not a cigar, is it? No, it's a fucking rabbit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's the, the, Vin, the, it's the Winston Churchill V sign, yeah, which is the stain on the blue dress for Monica Lewinsky. Yes. And Bill Clinton is the Queen's half-sister. The Shell, yes, yeah, so that is the Queen that has issued we, me with another writ despite her 165 year illegitimacy in Her Majesty's name and authority and all of the time yeah she makes the Christmas speeches in front of the pie pie Christmas tree and pretends that they have Christmas truces with the Germans. What was the song that they sung for the Third Reich in Hitler's fundraising campaign before the war? Mm, got me there. It is Tannenbaum, yeah? Okay. That is Swiss family Robinson. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, me. yeah, and that is the same as the red flag joke for the false socialists all over the world, including the one that gets 10 grand to visit these religious meetings from China. Should that do the job, do you think, guys? Oh, George, this is cutting edge as usual. I just want to get this process and get it out before they send... So they do, not, do not worry about Greg Halley. You understand the David Bowie jokes are the Bowie tribes, and that is the Al Pacino, Lord McAlpine jokes in yeah, northern yeah. Italy. Yeah, all of what the new Greg Hallett has released since the dead Greg Hallett was missing for a whole year. He used to send me all of my backed up records and all, a lot of my insight into the financial frauds and who the leaders of the countries were and how many of them were Rothschilds. Yeah, all of that has been taken down and the new guy has his directorates registered in the Stepping Stone Street in Stratford-on-Avon 
where the man that is the war criminal in Iraq, yet in the most recent Rothschild's crimes involving Hannah Rothschild and her man Mandelson. Yeah, can you remember his name, John? Um, I'm just talking about, this is number nine, Stepping Stones, isn't it? Which is on the Ickneald Way. Oh, good lad, John. You've got it all, and they have nowhere to go. That's why they attack you on the internet. And I'm not worried at all about that. I'm better than them. Oh, I take, George, I take it as a compliment. If they have to attack someone like me, and I'm just someone who's done some research, yeah. that shows you how scared they are. Exactly. And all of the stuff about the seagulls and things, all of that is in that massive joke. So that the woman that died at Hearn, she's Mrs. Merton. Merton is where the author of the Lord of the Rings movie went. Yeah, and that is the richest college in Oxford. And that is Oxford, Cambridge, Gottingen, which means no God, and Heidelberg, where the rocket scientists launched their attack on Japan after the Pearl Harbor, Innsbruck, Brooklyn jokes, yet for the Roosevelt family that were on the Mayflower. It does not get more evil, and I have no fears about the humans persecuting me or killing me. Yet, if this story is retold and you can get it out to the masses like you did, thank you, Croft, for saving me from that sectioning threat. No problem, George. Yeah. And that is that what happened when they murdered the predecessor of Teddy Roosevelt, shooting the bears in the woods, that's the Rothschild joke that weekend. Yeah. They he was gonna live, but the doctors killed him in hospital so that Teddy could be the doctor. And that is Dr. Ian Fingland. Yet yeah, who tried to have me sectioned for revealing all of these horrible truths about why all of the children. George, George I need to run, mate. But can I just can I just add this for the listeners' sake? Can we get it out to the people that every court case has been a mistrial? Every court case, because yeah. these courts are no courts; they're private tribunals for the state employees. We're not state employees. We're the men and women, the owners of this nation. Yeah. Took us into a false court every time, and they gave us a legal incompetent court, right, and we need to bring back common law courts. But the only way you can do that is to get enough people that have been injured by the courts to start going on, doing on the streets and doing marches to the court. Yeah. Oh, and as a victim... But can you see can you see the magnitude of what they're doing at the head of our countries? Oh, and e everyone who is head of a country is on those bloodlines that I dissected it's yesterday. Not, it's, the court, it's the courts where they take us and deprive us of our property. It's only the courts. They've been all over, everything else is done outside, but everything gets taken. So if you if you keep court. revealing like me that Sheriff Peter Patterson, yeah, he's a total twat. He's to well, he, he, he lives in a town called Yetham, yeah, and all of the people that are that yeah are in that place. Yeah, George, the, none of them have jurisdiction. Exactly, it's broken to the top, George. Well, that's that's why I refused to attend the last time. George. Every case has ever been has been a mistrial. Every one. Yeah. Yep. Not just some, not just maybe these ones and these ones. All of them, George. Well, that's you why. Know, that's why I'm focused. It's a mistrial from the off, George. Do you know where Nuremberg is? I've just yeah. mentioned the Geneva word. All yeah. of the trials are totally staged in all of world history. Well, and the, broke the, the, ju the, the jury time. picking joke is. That as well. Yeah, it's. All that you need to do to get them in reverse mode is to reveal their secrets and their massive crimes of the past. But yep. you try it, George, when you try and say that what they, their crimes, even when you explain to them in the court their crimes, they try and do you the contempt because there's not enough people who got to these courts to show the facts. Well, they, they cannot do that to me because everything I've got is published. And if you guys fail to blow the whistle when they take all of my published work down as soon as they kill me, then they will have done to me what they didn't, did to Bin Laden. But Bin Laden is an elite friend of Cambridge. But yep. you imagine, George, everybody that's ever lost a house, George, everybody that's ever had their bank account stolen off them, everybody whose estates have been affected by these court, well, these fake court systems, seek restitution. They should get everything back that they've been robbed of. But George. you cannot get it from the corrupted it's law it's society. You just have to get rid of them. The corrupt they've never done their job, they've never done their job. In a time of austerity, who do you get rid of, George? The people that never that never gave you the job in the system that you paid for. The whole system's broken, George. Yeah, the system that we've got could return the... You need to tell them that they've not done their job. 
What, you what you depose anybody, especially the people in Scotland, because they're sovereign. Well, no, the politicians that were in charge when I was getting sectioned and you were working on my behalf, they're still in charge. They were the Pilgrim Fathers. That is, that, that is John de Lamont, that is Michael Ancrum, the Marquis of Lothian, yeah? That is the man that was in charge of the Irish Troubles when the Chinook was crashed. And all of that is sang by the Beatles, which is the Yellow Submarine. I keep well, letting the news out, and the gods are now on my side. And well, but listen, now do you imagine that everybody wants, now Scotland's supposed to vote to go into the EU, right? Supposedly, right? I don't know if the votes are rigged or what, or usual. So, if, if they're supposed to go into the EU, we're still going into the EU with a corrupt court system. Well, the whole of the political and the judicial all these false words. If they can't, if they can't bring the court system into line, we'll still continue to have all the drama that we're having now. So I will support you in every way that I can on the legal side because it yeah. is totally corrupted. Need, Have you heard of the Magic Circle no, law firm? First, uh, go back, keep on this note now. We need grand juries brought back, George. We need common law courts in record and we need public oversight of all judicial bodies. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Because, they're, because they're making far too many statutes and acts which the people can't get rid of. The cornerstone of democracy, George, is the rule of law and the trial by jury system. Because jury nullification puts the people above everything and the people can decide if the law is not equitable. That's all the basis here is, George. But the people, the, the, people, the, people, the people are busy with the football yeah. tournament, Croft. Wait a minute, we're not yeah. talking about football. I'm not talking about football. The fact that we've got to these state courts and there's no public oversight, the cameras should be in these courts, George, to witness the crimes that are happening to the people in there. Everything that happens in these courts is a criminal act because it has been hijacked by the war of occupation where the war society and the Crown Temple Barris came in and usurped all our judicial functions. Everything is broken, George. And it's only gone with football and all the, all the philosophical arguments that you keep saying I'm making, but we need to outline the problem. We need to tell everybody what the problem is, which is the court system. The court systems are... So have you them. heard of the big five magic law firms? Aye, we were just fighting one. Yeah, that's the, that's the fascists that survive the cull of the ordinary people. Do you know how they culled the priests? They're all, they're all slow. Do you know how they culled the priests? George, all the, all the law firms now, the big law firms are merging. Yeah, I've got the other director numbers. That's John de la Mont in the Pilgrim Fathers. And he's still my political representative, and the only way he can hide from all his director numbers is to claim that he's now a homosexual. That's what he's done. And he is now interviewing eight-year-old children in his radio programs. John de la Mont in the Pilgrim Fathers. As you know, this is a democracy. This is a heist. Yeah, the whole of it's a mafia operation, and all we need to do is keep talking about the truths. Yeah, yeah, and all of it, the gods will see it come right in the end. I don't know why they went to sleep. The people will see what comes right under God's law because God's law is what they are sitting under. We just have to take it back to them and say, "Did God allow you to do that?" And if we not, did you have a covenant with the people and and their creator? They'll say yes. They'll say, "Did you did you stick to it?" No, you never. None of them have stuck to the, the, the real law, and they broke man law and utopian so many that. Oh, absolutely! You cannot get more corrupt. So the way they got rid of the priests, yeah, everywhere is to shoot them in the stadia. Yeah, when Pinochet was in charge. Yeah, they shot them with the professionals when Pinochet was in charge, and that's Mrs. Thatcher's greatest friend who died in his bed in London. But the way they got rid of the priests in all the other conflicts was to make them celibate. So, so that the, the, the good bloodlines cannot survive. There is no kings or queens or priests or lords or bishops or police officers. Or they're just people. Everybody's got a title and an act of joke and they're all going to violate everybody's rights. So I feel really scared by that statement because what they've sent the letter to this morning is not to Professor George Lees, the freedom fighter, but to Mr. George Lees. If no, Mr. George Lees didn't exist either. You're just George Lees. Okay, that's good. That's good. Yeah. No, Professor's just a, just a different skill set. you got a title for a different amount of information that you've downloaded. Mate. That's all you've got. You can't be something else but a man. You can call yourself what you want, but you're not going to be that, right? You'll just be a man with God made you. Yeah, you're I'm quite... Just, just la -la 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 so, shall we stop there? Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, it's, it's a good, good time to stop, George. This is just over an hour. I'm right. going to get this up as soon as possible. And get Pope Benedict's resignation in the titles. 
Yeah, because I it takes me a couple of days to process the videos now because of Rebecca Brooks's crimes in Chip and Norton where my wife was trained. <laughs> yeah, it's it's yeah. serious. Yeah, she. Oh, no. Do you get the Rebecca Brooks and no room oh, at the oh. end there? Yes. Okay, thanks, Croft. Right, we'll just yeah. hang up there, Croft. Uh, John. I, I'm okay, George. Let's wrap it up, mate. We'll get this out. So, don't be upset about what Greg Hallett does now. Oh, no. Yeah, no, everything no. they do, all the Bowie stuff, we can rebut it. And we can yeah. show that they are just stealing from the people in a systematic way. And the yes. people, because... Let, let me tell you the football joke. Schweinsteiger is the captain of the German team that won the game against Italy the other night. Yeah, that's the Bible frauds Italy. Schweinsteiger, the Schweins are the early Rothschilds, yet yeah, after they were the Rotten Shields, the Bacharachs, and all the stories that I've told in recent weeks. Yeah, Schwein. yeah, and do you know what the Steiger joke is? Rod Steiger, go yeah. on. What role did he play in Hollywood? Yeah. What role did he play in Hollywood in his biggest movie? Oh, um, I know, I can't think of the name. Napoleon Bonaparte, oh, yeah, who is the shagbag person, yeah, is the yeah. Empress of Austria in the last video, and I mentioned that, and that is also that is. Okay, shall we stop, John? Okay. So that's the German football team. Yeah. German football team captain now playing for Manchester United and you know all of the Fergie jokes at Manchester United yeah, yeah, yeah. you know all of the killings jokes about Manchester United and the people that are the bo Busby babes Busby is a murderous mafia man in America and he slaughters his girlfriends in the back of the car and cuts their fanny out let's stop there ok George it's a good time to stop because I'm almost out of the memory card I'll speak to you later, George. You take care. Thanks ever so much, John, and just keep it coming at them. Oh, oh, don't you worry. I'm just, just getting warm and warmed up. Speak to you soon, mate. Cheers. Oh, yeah.